condolences are coming in from across New Orleans tonight for former Mayor Moon Landrieu, who died today at the age of 92. He was mayor of New Orleans for two terms, from 1970 to 1978, and he pushed for social and political changes. WGNO's LBJ is here to look back on his life. LBJ. Yeah, Susie and Kurt, a few of the folks we spoke with today uh, called Moon Landrieu the city's first modern mayor after serving in the state legislature and on the city council, but it turns out that his tenure as mayor would be transformative for the city. He's walking into a deeply segregated city that uh, five years after the passage of the Voting Rights Act, four years after the passage of the Civil Rights Act, and he becomes the first mayor to truly be elected because of the strength and the power of the African-American vote, which was central to his coalition. Former Mayor Mark Morial is referring to the time when Moon Landrieu was elected mayor of New Orleans. It was 1970, and Landrieu reciprocated that support from the black community by having one of the most diverse administrations the city had seen, appointing minorities and women to first-time positions of power in city government. He wasn't fearful of inclusion, and I think that's going to be one of, one of his greatest legacies to me. As the death of the 92-year-old patriarch of the Landrieu family began to spread, many leaders took the opportunity to speak about his work for our city and the state. When you think about his generation and what they did, uh, when it wasn't easy, and I guess no, every generation has its challenges, uh, but the way he rose to the challenge then, I think should serve as an example for all of us. And while Landrieu went on to serve in President Jimmy Carter's cabinet as HUD secretary after leaving City Hall, his mark on the New Orleans landscape was undeniable. That's why they got moonwalk <laughs> down by the river. No, because of him, man, he afforded opportunities to a lot of people that were denied by previous administrations. He opened the door for us to do better things and become better people. Now by showtime, we hadn't received a statement from the family and as of now, no arrangements have been made, but Governor Edwards did tell us that the flags at the Capitol will be lowered in honor of Landrieu's time in the state legislature. All right, great story for us tonight. Thank you, LBJ. Sure.